I'm Alice from Donation2. We've created a series of three easy to follow videos to show how you can raise money for medical bills with the help of Donation2.com. This first video shows you how to get started. The second video shows you how to launch your fundraiser. And the third video shows what to do during and after fundraising. Let's get started. First, gather a few friends and family members to help. Make sure to assign tasks according to their unique skill sets. Your small team will help send out weekly emails. We'll explain this in more detail in video three. Your team will also help gather relevant images to post daily on social media. We will also explain this in more detail in video three. Before you begin fundraising, make sure to set up a PayPal and WePay account. This is where your donations will be sent to. Make sure to set up both payment options. More payment options will lead to more donations. You can set this up easily at donation2.com. Take the time to gather high quality photos for your fundraising page. A smartphone can do this in the right lighting. Say cheese. The best times to take photos are sunrise and sunset. Here are some examples of high quality fundraising photos. Create an in-depth story about your cause. Too much information is better than not enough. Is reaching your goal time sensitive? If so, explain why. Create a video explaining your cause. Fundraisers are known for raising more when there's video. Here are some tips for creating your video. Avoid direct sunlight by shooting in the shade. Shoot during sunrise and sunset. Try to minimize background noise. And finally, show your current support system by showing friends and family in your video. What else can you tell visitors about your cause? Have others already donated? If so, who? New donors may be more willing to contribute if members of their community have already donated. Reiterate your goal, the total amount you wish to raise. Let visitors know the name of the fundraising website you're using. This reminds them that their donations go directly to you. Make an itemized list showing what the money will go toward. For each item, give a price so visitors understand the total goal amount. Finally, make the goal amount something realistic. If it's too high, you can scare away potential donors. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tune in for our second video, How to Launch Your Fundraiser. Hi, it's Alice from Donation2. This is the second installment of our three-part video series showing how you can raise money for medical bills. Click the link below to start from the beginning. It's important to create your own domain name for your fundraising page. Make the name relevant to your cause. For example, a page about fighting cancer might have the domain name sarahfightscancer.com. Keep the domain name short and easy to remember. Always stick to two to three word domain names. Use hyphens to increase legibility and make sure it is easy to spell. For example, supportjohnwells.com is better than helpjohnfightleukemia.com. How do you spell that again? Never use special characters in your URL as it makes it difficult to remember. Don't use confusing subdomains like donatesarahfightscancer.com. Also, make sure to get a .com extension. Set up an alias. This means that if visitors leave out the www, they will still be pointed to your fundraising page. The company where you purchase your domain can set this up for you. We recommend that you buy your domain at iwantmyname.com and host your fundraiser at donation2.com. Get your fundraising URL listed in all the right places. For example, your email signature, your chat status area or profile, the about section of your Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and other social networks. Most of them have an about section. You can place your URL there. Make sure all of your URLs are working before you announce your cause. As you're creating your fundraising page, address who you are. Are you the one who needs the funds? Or are you creating a page to help a friend? Upload a lot of photos. Photos should show friends and family to increase user engagement. Establish a time that you will announce your fundraiser on social media. It's ideal to send all notifications, including emails and posts on social media at the same time. Once you've established a date and time of your announcement, make sure your small team and their extended family make the announcement with you. 
before you announce your fundraiser, ask close friends to donate and leave comments. You wouldn't want visitors arriving at a fundraising page with no recent activity. Set up an events page on Facebook. Give it a relevant name like Sarah is fighting cancer. Donate today. Select a location for the event. Keep in mind that this is only a way to reach out to your Facebook friends, so the actual location is online. Select Open Event to gain a larger network. Enable the event wall to increase user engagement during fundraising. Spread awareness by inviting all your friends and acquaintances. Monitor the page and respond to all comments. Continue to like all comments, leave messages, and ask questions to maintain engagement. As you probably know by now, you should schedule a time with friends and family to announce your fundraiser together. Posting at the same time may help your fundraiser go viral. Post on Facebook and like each other's posts so that they show up on everyone's news feeds. You can use these same tips on other social networking sites. Send an email to announce your fundraiser. Donation2 makes this easy. With just one click, you can send an email out to your entire email contact list. Create a schedule for sending out group emails ahead of time. This will help keep you organized as you send out mass emails to supporters. Get your friends and family to send the same announcement to their email list. Make sure everyone does this at the same time to get the best results. Again, Donation2 makes this really easy with one click of a button. Thanks for watching video number two of our three-part series of how to raise money for medical bills. Stay tuned for video three, what to do during and after your fundraiser. Hi, it's Alice from Donation2. Welcome to our final installment of our three-part video series showing how you can raise money for medical bills. Click the link below to start from the beginning. This is our last video where we show you what to do during and after fundraising. Let's get started. After you've launched your fundraiser, make sure to send out an email update every week in order to keep everyone informed about your cause. Each email should cover a specific topic. Here are some suggestions for topics. Week 1. Announce your fundraiser. Week 2. Ask your supporters to share your URL on their social networking sites. Week 3. Give an update on the progress toward your goal. Week 4. Provide a visual update about who or what the fundraising is for. Attach a photo, create a video, etc. Week 5. Ask specifically for donations and give a percentage left until you reach your goal. Week 6. Share a story about your fundraiser which will further engage users. Week 7. Give specific examples of who has already donated. This will encourage others to donate as well. Week 8. If you've hit your goal, that's great. Now tell everyone your stretch goal. Week 9. You can continue to repeat what you did in weeks 2 to 6 in order to keep users engaged. And remember, always include the URL of your fundraiser so visitors can click to donate. Keep it short. According to Brett Nelson's 14 years of experience, one of the most vital things to remember is to keep it short when you reach out to media. In fact, he said, if you have to scroll, your email is too long. Tug at the heartstrings. Diana Speckler and Jim O'Grady say that it's important to tug at your audience's heartstrings. Remember, you're a walking billboard. Design and print t-shirts that promote your cause. They serve as great conversation starters at public events. And if this is your type of thing, don't stop at just t-shirts. Create hats as well. They're great for events like running marathons. As visitors start to donate, send thank you emails immediately. This is a great way to get users engaged from the beginning. And it also encourages them to share your cause with their friends and loved ones. Just remember, don't wait until the end of your fundraiser to send out thank you emails. By then your momentum has slowed and people will be less likely to share. As your fundraiser ends, announce that it is ending and keep the URL live and working. It will serve as a great reminder if you decide to fundraise again. We hope our videos have given you some helpful tips so that you can start fundraising for medical bills. If you have any suggestions or tips of your own, please comment on our post. Thanks again and see you next time.